So hey guys, welcome back in this video. I have a very special gift for you. So we have the Python running inside a browser. So as you can see here, we have print hello and it's actually running in the browser. If I want to show you, as you can see here, now you can also do all sorts of Python stuff like print three plus three and it's actually gonna return all the values. So how it's doing here is by the team Anaconda. So they have built and really ingenious some sort of engine uh, so whatever you write inside this py script tag that uh, this code is actually going to execute in something like pyodide so if i show you the architecture of this um, amazing thing it's actually running uh, like just like react native and any other just connection they are using a javascript bridge so and at the uh, base level they are using c python so uh, the reason it's actually running a little fast here uh, in the browser is uh, that it's because it's using cpython and a web assembly so uh, let me show you some examples using this so why not build something uh, here we are writing python all of a sudden so the thing here is we don't want to write in something like this way so because you know python uses indentations and it's very hard to do indentations in html so what do we have here is like we could just uh, just like a php or any other just like a javascript or any other script source just like python we could also write main.py and in here what we could do is pass in src here and then write here main.py just like this so if we go to main.py and write let's say import math and import random we could do all sorts of stuff here import random we could also do import random and then if you write here let's make a list of local so one two three four five and just write print random dot choice local and save there we go we have one here if you reload the application like it's a little bit slower than uh, the PHP and JavaScript, but surely they will they will make it performant, and we could write all sorts of Python code here. So actually, this is working now. If I write my random choice is, and write plus, and you know that we can't concatenate between a string and an integer, so we could just write this, and there we go. We have my random choice is, and there we have my random choice is three. So, and we could also do all sorts of math function here. So let's math dot, let's say cos, uh, cosine of, let's say, whatever you could do, let's do 30. And there we go, we have 0 0.5, so we have math dot cos value. So the thing here is it's not as fast as JavaScript or PHP, uh, but definitely you could uh, use all this stuff, uh, like if you want to deploy your machine learning models. So that's better handled in the Python. So you could just, uh, so now you don't need any sorts of a backend library, a Flask, oh yeah, fast API. So we don't need that stuff. You could directly uh, just do, just link it to your Python file and you can print out all sorts of stuff here. So the thing uh, powering this up is known as PyoDide. So let's also look at that. So they have actually used this in a very, very smart way. So PyoDide is a port of CPython to WebAssembly. So there we go, we have CPython and we have WebAssembly. So they are using this PyoDide to create a web runtime environment in which uh, your Python code is actually executing. So, so like that way, uh, they are achieving this type of massive, massive thing. So the future could be like you could you could all uh, you could just write Python, but you could also write Go like in browser. You could also like Java in browser. You could like Rust in browser. You have like R in browser. So you could do all sorts of you now in the future maybe all different programming languages can be directly written into an HTML file just like JavaScript. We have all the script tags. We could just link it. Let's say, uh, let's say in future Go script come. You could just write. Uh, you could just write Go script and give it a Go script. So you could also have Rust script and all that stuff. So like this is an ingenious way of by Team Anaconda. So kudos to them. This is for now. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, see ya. Have a good day.